So balance, okay? Trent mm-hmm. Williams' injury is awful. The best offensive player, maybe the best player on the 49ers team, period, is out. And that was just a freak play. And what's even crazier about that, Jake Brindle has been bad. Not good. He's been bad. That was Jake Brindle's best play of his entire NFL career. Really? He pancaked a dude. Sad news is, pancaked him into the back of Trent Williams. Freak play. Um, he's got the high ankle spring. Jalen Moore comes in. Awful. Terrible. Like, cut worthy. Like, I would not be surprised if Jalen Moore is cut this week. That's how bad he was in seven plays. But, silver lining, balance, Colton McKivitz was great. Not good. Colton McKivitz was great at left tackle. Yeah, and so the good news is uh, you're getting Daniel Brunskill back possibly this week, right? And now you're you, – you, and Colton McKivitz has played his best game against – the Los Angeles Rams. He go yep. back to week 17. Yep. You know, he was one oh, of the – No Von well, Miller now. You get what I'm saying? And so if he played well when they had Vaughn, how well do you think he's going to play without a Vaughn? And so if you get Daniel Brunskill back as well, I don't even think Daniel Brunskill needs to start. I think Kyle should stick with his offensive line uh, situation. Aaron Banks, Spencer Burford at the guards, and then uh, your Mike McGlinchey at your right. And then Kip McKivitz. And use Brunskill as just your swing. God forbid Brindle goes down. Now you got yourself a, a, a backup center. God forbid Colton McKivitz struggles. Now he can play tackle. He can play guard. So See, th- I disagree with you. Okay. You want to start here. him at left tackle? No, no, no. I want McKivitz at left tackle. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's happening. Oh, you want the guards to change? Uh, no, no, no. I want Brindle out. And I want Brunskill at a center. Oh, dang. I wasn't expecting that, Jay. That's what I, I, I'm i telling you right now. Brind, I don't want Brindle playing anymore. I think that he, he can't is a be backup worse than quality. Brunskill, bro. Brunskill was bad at center. So rotate series. Allow, is that allow it to play out. Allow it to play out. That's what I I'm feel, saying. I feel like rotating series, bro, with Jimmy Garoppolo is going to be dangerous. Yeah, you're not wrong. What are they going to do? Fumble a snap? What's the worst that could happen? Because that just happened. It just happened. And yeah, that was no. not on Jimmy. That was not on Jimmy. Nah. Like, not on Jimmy. You, re- no. you, you rewatched it? You rewatch it. And what happened, like Kyle even said the same thing. Yeah, they went. went on the wrong snap count. It okay. should have been a false start because all the guards and tackles went and Jimmy started going That's out. What that was supposed cool. to be a Jordan Mason play and the ball got snapped late. So Jimmy was pulling out, uh, which I, I wish I didn't say that phrase. Um, well, but, <laughs> but anyway, he was leaving early, and the ball was snapped late. That took away Jordan Mason's series because that was the play after the seven-yard toss to Jordan Mason, mm-hmm. and it looked like the second play was going to go to Jordan Mason again, but that was the fumbled snap. Killed that drive right at the 50. Um, that was on Jake Brindle. That was not on Jimmy Garoppolo. My personal opinion, Kyle also added that again, but you go back, and I slowed down the film, and you could see – Everybody went, Brindle hesitated, then snapped, and it was just late. So um, the ref cheated is what you're saying. Nah, it was it was a bang bang. But also the week before, Jake Brindle snapped it into his butt. And Roz Dwelly had to get it on the two, took a touchdown off the board. We had the block kick. Like that's back to back games that you've had turnovers because of Jake Brindle. Yeah. Well, I don't but, know, man. But, but you were saying we don't know, but how much does that attest to Jake has been rocking with Trey Lance his whole career? Well, since yeah. he's been in San Francisco. Right. And then you get Jimmy Garoppolo, and, and it's just a different feel, possibly. I'm not I'm not throwing him no no slack here. Can't turn the ball over. I don't care who you are. But yeah. it could be that. So, so what they needed to do after the game, instead of Jimmy walking around smiling at everybody, yeah. they you know, bring that butt here and yeah, let's I'm, go over some snaps exchanges. But again, we've said this, Jimmy ain't going to change. And I personally change. don't have a problem with the happy go lucky. I believe in you be who you are. Um again, I was down after See, the I'm game. I'm confused then, John, because in that video clip if that is that being who he was, he wasn't smiling on that clip. Yeah. So, so I'm just saying like are you this picture perfect mm-hmm. always smiling guy or is there some real grit inside of you to where you get angry? And if so, let that out. I think, I Ooh. think. Ooh, I'm excited about what you're about to say. I'm if excited Jimmy about Garoppolo showed a different emotion other than the smile, some type of grit, some type of F yeah, some type of come on, man, some type of get y'all together, some type of Peyton Man and cussing Jeff Saturday out, that type of stuff, I guarantee you, 
the whole fan base will be on that cat side. I guarantee, yeah. I can guarantee it. And right now, the only saltiness we've seen has been directed straight to Kyle Shanahan. Exactly. Not himself at all. Exactly. Um, and so that's interesting. I, I, li- I like what you're saying there. I, I like what you're saying there. Now, uh, stay off Twitter. Your life will greatly improve. There you go, David, speaking facts over there. Uh, let me ask this. Let's throw it up in the chat. Um, who should start at center? Should it be Brindle this week or should it be Daniel Brunskill? Throw in who should start at center because this is something that's interesting. I could probably go into uh, YouTube and do this while we're doing this live. I'll try to set that up. So l- let's go with – I'm going to ask you this, Wayne. This is going to go to you. Tell me a positive that we can focus on, something you're optimistic about. Oh, cool. Um, I, I, I know the offensive line is going to be missing their best key piece going into this game. Uh, but I'm, I'm, we beat them without them. So I just want to put that out there. So there's optimism there. So we've beaten the Rams without Trent Williams. Just want to make yeah. it clear. I want to make sure y'all understand that. But here's how we beat them. We, 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 we ran the ball. <laughs> so so and I don't care if they stack eight in the box. I think Kyle Shanahan uh can figure out how to add that extension to the run game. You know what we don't see a lot anymore? Remember early Jimmy with the quick screens? And I'm not talking about the, the throws all the way to the sideline. I'm talking about yes. Oh, uh, what I say. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. S- slick 68. But, but, Brunskill owns Donald, his best but, games. But not at center. Yeah, so let's that's put the true. context in there. If you want Brunskill to play, he needs to be at the guard in, or the tackle because uh, Donald ain't lining up over no center. <laughs> I love it, man. That's awesome. Right now it's 82% Brunskill, by the way. I love it. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. But only – and Mike, Mike Mosley, first off, Mike's incredible. Um, and he's got alliteration in his name, which means he's a superhero, obviously. I love um, he says Brunskill, but only if he's 100% back. Just because Brunskill is practicing for the first time this week doesn't mean he's 100% back. Thank you. Um, yeah, and I'm with you. If he's not, I, we're not going to get a C, right? We're not going to get a C. Let me, can I ask Mike this question? It's, it's football season, and when are players ever at 100%? Yeah. Hamstring's rough coming back from. It is 100%. <laughs> no pun intended, but I'm just saying, like, I think if he's 80% or more, I think he goes, I think he should play. If he's mm. 50% or, or, or less than 80, you might want to think about it or just keep him as that reserve piece. The 49ers Rush Podcast. <laughs> 